Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you that's just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, I wanted to make this video because this just recently happened, okay? And this is going to be very dangerous for people that are selling uh, trade lines and stuff like that. Here's the situation, okay? Someone hacked into a Chase uh, account on a lady, okay? And with that account, they added 70 names, okay, as authorized users on that account. Now, reason why this is going to be harmful to those that are selling trade lines is because I know a lot of people say authorized users is dead, authorized users is dead. Now, and it depends, again, it depends on which um, FICO system you're using. Right now, they have the FICO 10 out, right? So it's real-time data. And so uh, in reference to the real-time data, looking at how long your account's been open, different variations of it. And I tell you that you can uh, use authorized users to help your FICO 9. Now, Chase, Chase gives you your Vantage 3 score, but they pull your FICO 8 bank card score, okay? Now, in reference to these authorized users, here's what's more most likely going to happen, okay? Especially with banks like Chase. They're going to do the PenFed situation. What PenFed does is that if you want to add an authorized user, you're going to have to have their social. You're going to have to have a copy of their ID. And then you may have to have a, um, a authorized uh, agreement that's saying that you allow them to add on as an authorized user. Okay? These are some of the possibilities that may happen. I'm not saying that it will happen. I know PenFed does that. And I think Chase may start doing that because of this. So for you guys that are have like a Chase account, I'm letting you know now. What Chase is going to do, if you have maybe more than three to five authorized users on an account, Chase may close your account down or close your client's account down. So this is something that's serious uh, because it means that if they close the account down, then you lose money. Now, if they close the account down of the primary, what they may do, they may reissue them another account. Um... Or they may just say, hey, we don't want to do business with you anymore. Even though you didn't do anything wrong, okay? But when situations like this happen and they're hacking, like I said, they added 70 individuals to one account that this lady did not even authorize. That's the even bigger problem. She didn't even authorize it. So for those of you that are selling trade lines. Um, here's the YouTube video. You can go there and look at the full YouTube video. And the thing about it, with authorized users, again, with FICO 8, they don't count it in. FICO 9, you can leverage it, okay? FICO 10, more likely is not going to be counted, but they're looking at uh, your account activity real time. Okay, now with your FICO 5, because some credit unions will pull your FICO 5 credit score or whatever, again, may not count the authorized users. Also, if you're trying to get a mortgage, especially a FHA mortgage, if you're trying to get an FHA mortgage, if you have authorized users on your file, they may ask you to remove those authorized users. And it's not hard to remove the authorized users. If you are an individual that had somebody add you on as an authorized user and the account went bad, all you have to do is uh, call that financial institution and say, hey, I would like to be removed uh, as an authorized user. And they'll just remove you from it. Okay? But... This type of situation here, where somebody actually hacked the lady and added 70 names to one account, oh, this is definitely going to hurt everybody that's dealing with Chase. If you have a Chase account and you have authorized users, like I said, 
they're going to probably start putting a limitation on how many authorized users that you can have. But also, they're going to start putting in place, well, if you're going to add this authorized user, we need a copy of the social, and they may ask for a copy of the uh, ID. You can expect some big changes are coming to adding authorized users, okay? So just keep that in mind. This is something serious, and like I said, it's going to hurt a lot of people. Because a lot of people may depend not only on the income from selling authorized users, but people that have been using authorized users to boost up their credit. Okay, But this is something serious. Uh, a lot of people may not even think no more of it, but trust me, the banks are going to use this to their advantage. The banks are really going to use this to their advantage, and it's going to hurt a lot of uh, your lot of people. Especially if you don't have, and here's another thing. Remember, I can keep on telling you all about internal data, right? Internal scoring with these banks. If you only have a credit card with these banks, and you don't have a checking account with these banks, you don't have a savings account with these banks, a CD, or any other type of account with these banks, they're going to start making it harder for you to even get a credit card with them, okay? And so that's the reason why I'm trying to get more people not to focus on these major financial institutions to start focusing more on fintech companies that are starting to open up more and credit unions. But with these major banks and stuff, you're going to start seeing them really locked down. They're going to start closing accounts. They're going to start getting stingy with the, um, with the limits and everything. Like I said, they're going to start nitpicking every aspect to make sure that you as an individual, you're on the up and up in terms of utilizing your account. When you, If you're not utilizing your account, if you haven't u utilized your account over a year, sometimes they'll close it out. They'll close it out. Does that affect your credit score when they close it out? No. But at the same time, you lose an account. And so that may have been your oldest account, right? And so by it being your oldest account, although they closed it out, that won't affect you. But because of that history of it, that will affect you, right? So it's like a double-edged sword when, uh, with these accounts. But back to adding authorized users, just keep in mind, because of this situation happening with a lady um, a card was... It, 70 names was added to this lady's card. Trust me, Chase is definitely going to change a lot of things that's going to make it hard for people to add authorized users. Okay? So this is Houston with three-way funding. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I know a lot of you guys may not be aware of it, but this is definitely something that's going to change the industry in terms of helping people to build up their credit and stuff. And it had... Nothing to do with the majority, just that one. When they see a mistake like that, it punishes everybody else. So this is Houston with three-way funding. If you have any other questions, uh, click the link in the description and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.